Welcome back to the Calf Blog. This is Bob James. Regardless of how you might raise calves on your farm, what happens during the first hours of life is a good predictor of how well they will do, not only while they're fed milk, but possibly throughout their lives. We're gonna focus on two key points today, birthing environment and colostrum. We are rapidly coming to understand that the biome or the microbial populations in the respiratory and digestive systems are very important in determining that calf's health. At birth, they're largely sterile, but become rapidly populated with whatever they ingest or breathe in. A manure contaminated calving environment with poor ventilation or a first meal with high levels of bacteria can put them off to a poor start in life. Calving in a well-drained grassy pasture out in the sun might be the gold standard, but we know that this isn't possible on many dairies. The next best is a calving pen with some privacy that's well bedded with straw or clean sawdust and clean between calvings. Strict sanitation of all colostrum feeding utensils is another key item. Let's let some good bugs have the first chance to become well established in this baby. We've heard about the importance of colostrum to calves so many times, but I'll repeat the recommendations we have heard so often. First, let's feed four quarts of first milking colostrum. Feed colostrum with at least 50 grams of IgG per liter, which has a Brix refractometer test score of at least 22. That math works out to feeding at least 200 grams of IgG. However, I'm gonna put a little different spin on things. Earlier we talked about the biome, or the bacterial populations in that calf. Let's think of it as a race to who gets to the place in the small intestines where IgG is absorbed, colostrum or some undesirable bacteria. Research that I and others have conducted has shown that the presence of high numbers of bacteria in the intestine very early in life interferes with IgG absorption. So let's add another recommendation. Feed colostrum with low numbers of bacteria, less than 50,000 CFUs per mil. From clean feeding devices like bottles or esophageal feeders, as early as you can after that calf is born. Now we've known these recommendations for many years, so why have we failed so often? We don't have systems to harvest colostrum soon after calving in a sanitary manner and feed it to calves as soon as possible. So now, take a hard look at your facilities and your people. Then develop systems and processes to achieve recommendations we've discussed as easily, simply, and consistently as possible. Until next time, let's do what's best for your calves.